Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Woo! It is hot out there. Yes, it, it sure is. is. It sure is. is. Did you say that? It sure is. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I got the point. <laughs> Thank you for that, Chris Tatum. A little confidence boost first thing this morning. All right, well, we are in a heat wave, actually, and today's day four of the heat wave, yes. and it's going to continue for at least the next day or two, so those sure are hot temperatures are going to stay with us for a while. All right, let's get a check right now on the Way 31 Sky Camera Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Temperatures, well, they're warm for us already, but sky conditions could hardly be better. Blue sky and sunshine, just one or two clouds. All in all, things are looking fantastic as we head into almost into this afternoon. All right, get a check of our temperatures. That Those white letters, white numbers, I should say, are our current temperatures. Those orange and yellow numbers to the right of them, that's once we factor in the dew point. It tells us our heat index, how hot we're feeling. So 83 measured in Huntsville, feeling like 85. 77 measured in Gunnersville feeling like 79, 84 in the shoals, feeling like 86. So already several degrees warmer today than what we're really measuring, and that's going to be a trend that follows us and even becomes stronger throughout the rest of this week as I'm expecting muggier conditions to continue to amp up. Take a look at 31 triple Doppler, 1120 this morning, and we're dry from rain. What we will see, though, in just a few hours is more rain and storms coming into the forecast. So soak up this lunchtime while you can, while the temperatures are still moderately at bay and the conditions are dry. All right. We talked about that heat wave and here it is. A heat wave in the south is when we have three days or more of 90 degree temperatures or higher. Today, Monday, with our projected high temperatures sitting at 90 degrees this afternoon, makes day four. So it's the first official heat wave of 2023 and it's here to stay. Here's a look at the next several hours. If you're headed out and about to lunch, temperatures will be in the mid 80s at noon. We'll reach our high temperature of 90 a little bit later in the afternoon, three, four o'clock, but that is normal. That's how it usually goes. And then by the time we get close to dinner time, temperatures will be sitting back in the mid 80s. So you might have to dodge a few showers for some of us. But if it looks dry in your region, well, temperatures will be comfortable to be outside. All right, let's get a check of future radar. This puts us through this afternoon. The cloud cover really increases just after lunchtime and then close to three, four o'clock. That's when we're going to see some pop up showers and storms in our region. Now, these are just those summertime pop ups, so no real rhyme or reason. However, currently it's looking like the heaviest of that rain and those storms is going to stay to our west. Not that we won't see any of it in the east, but west of the corridor, we'll see the heaviest of the storms. Those stay with us through dinner time. This is tonight at 7 30 and then they kind of get out of our way by bedtime. We'll keep the cloud cover overnight, but at least we'll say goodbye to the rain. All right, that heat wave continues Tuesday and Wednesday with high temperatures at 90 even, but then I'm tracking a cold front that moves through and that not only brings plenty of rain to the forecast on Thursday, it also drops our high temperature in seven degrees in just about 24 hours time. So that's going to move through Wednesday night, push through first thing on Thursday and get that heat out of the way. Here's a little fun fact for you. When we have a warm front move through, we see all day drizzle. When we have a cold front move through, we see a few hours of storms. So that's what you can expect Wednesday night into first thing on Thursday is a few hours of those storms. All right, here's a look at your 10 day forecast. The trash pandas are back and conditions aren't too, too bad. We're going to have to keep an eye on some of those scattered evening showers, but for the most part, we should be good since they're going to be more pop up in nature. Temperatures stay warm and then we have that major cool off by the time we get to Thursday, we'll ramp it right back up for this weekend. And hey, if you have any outdoor weekend plans, go ahead and plan those for Saturday instead of Sunday. Sunday's going to be a full day of rain. Okay, that's good to know. Yep, we'll good. keep that in mind. All right. Thank you, Grace. Thank you.